do we have scans all of a sudden as of 2013? We've had mammograms for years. We've had uh, uh, chest CTs for lung cancer. Uh, the problem has been is that the prostate gland is a very small gland, and prostate cancers have such a similar appearance to the normal prostate gland that without new technology, you can't clearly see the cancer inside the gland. And so treatment has always been aimed at treating the whole gland, since it's a small gland that's feasible, uh, but uh, with all the attendant side effects of impotence and incontinence. So now with new imaging, uh, very refined techniques that can detect the uh, blood flow to the tumor, that can detect um, uh, the way uh, water moves across these, these abnormalities. Uh, Multiparametric MRI and color Doppler can actually uh, see small cancers within the gland. We can track them, uh, we can measure them, and observe them for any change over time. And uh, with sequential scanning every six to 12 months, the comparisons over time give us uh, incredibly important information. Specifically, is the cancer growing or not? Uh, as we know, prostate cancer is so very common, and most of them are harmless. So uh, with this new technology, uh, imaging technology, we now have information to track these abnormalities without the need to treat everybody. So color Doppler ultrasound and multiparametric MRI are revolutionary new developments in the field of prostate cancer.